this video is going to be about um, pumping and breastfeeding. So once the boys were born, um, obviously I wasn't able to breastfeed too away because they were young and they were able to actually um, breathe and start at the same time. So the, basically that, that first night I started pumping, hand pumping um, colostrum. I was doing it every, th every three hours <clears throat> and that continued and still continues to now. I still pump um, after a feed or during a feed and so basically I was pumping every three hours to get my milk up and get it established. Um, it took a long time for my milk to come in, especially after a section and having um, you no know, able to breastfeed. Even though I was having that skin to skin contact every day and quite frequently enough with the twins, it just wasn't enough. So they were mixed fed at hospital a bit. It wasn't probably until week four that they were fully on EBM express breast milk. Um, and so once, but uh, you know, once breastfeeding was established with them, um, it worked well. And I came home and I was breastfeeding them. I still am breastfeeding them, um, but it it was it was hard work. It was tiring. Um, they, they were using nipple shields, so that was because their mouths weren't obviously big enough to get latched on. The shields were helping. We just now don't have shields. We just we learnt in the last week or so not to have shields, and that's really worked quite well. Um, and so, you know, the, and, you know, I tried to tend and feed what I what I could. I can't. I don't tend and feed anymore because it was just it's just too hard. Um, so, and plus I like that one-on-one -on -one time with a twin, with with each twin. Um, in the recent weeks, Charlie has decided not to latch on at all. Um, I think there's a lot of nipple confusion and breast infusion because of the bottle. And so, many attempts have been tried to feed him again. And it's just it's, he's not having. It's not working. And so, I just tried actually about an hour ago just to try. So we went, and you know, to different. Well, nice and calm when it started, and then just he just lost it. So. So, you know, I need to, and I'm dealing with that at the moment. That's really hard to deal with having your own child reject you. And not because anything he's done or I've done. It's just, you know, he just is obviously confused. And, you know, but there's that frustration, you know, why won't you, will you do this? And so either I just express and he has it that way, or I try and do different things to feed him uh, back on the poop. And so. You know, we had a shower this morning and he latched on then and that was quite nice but there wasn't any stuff it was just a latch but that's better than what I've had from him in the last couple of days um you know the breastfeeding journey hasn't been easy and I don't think a lot of women have uh, trouble breastfeeding and that's and it's quite not, it's not easy it's really hard I mean at the moment my nipples and breasts are so sore um, the sores have been in a long time and they're just sensitive and you know to the point where I do I want to continue to do this obviously I've, I want to I'm going to because that's the best thing I can do for them but I made the decision about uh, four weeks ago to four or five weeks ago to bring in formula just to help out because I was exhausted from um, expressing and feeding expressing and feeding expressing and feeding um, and to the point where I just, you know, I wanted to sleep and have a break. And, you know, introducing formula, which I don't regret whatsoever. I think it's, you know, it, it helped um, Dad, you know, get involved and, you know, it helped, gave, gave me a break. And so we, we mix feet, so they're both breast, you know, EB Charlie gets expressed as well as formula. And so we do top ups as well after a breastfeed. So, and they're putting on weight, they're doing really well. Then, um, not as fat as I like them to be, I like them to be a bit fatter, but that's, you know, they'll get there. And so, um, the Tom feeds fine, he just, he's a piggy and will love food, no matter if it's from a boomba bottle, he doesn't really care. And Charlie, being a breech baby, um, is a little bit, not lazy, but just a bit more tired and, um, doesn't like to work for things, which is, which is fine. And, um, so... You know, I just will. Hopefully, he'll get back on the boob if we can keep trying. If not, I'll accept that fate and just express and give it to him that way. But um, you go through a lot of emotions um, as a mum, as a brand new mum as well. And you know, you know, they say breast is is best, and I believe breast is best. But in my situation, what I'm doing is working for me, and it's working best for me. And so that's what I've decided to do. And um, 
the boys that um, have reflux have silent reflux and so um, they don't, I don't eat dairy um, and so they're on a special formula um, for dairy, um, for um, cow's milk intolerance as well as um, soil and all that kind of stuff and so they're on that special kind of formula as well so um, you know if I have any kind of dairy it you know the formula is there to take over and so I'm actively not trying to have dairy um, sometimes they eat something and I, didn't, and I don't realize that, that dairy is in that and they don't really react too much I don't think it's not having too much of an effect on them but it's still I don't want to put that put them in any through any pain um, and so yeah so hopefully I will continue to breastfeed as long as possible and as long as as long as they want me to feed them um, if Charlie goes back on the breast I'll be really happy with that you know and you know, and obviously the six months is not too far away and you know solids is you know that's the debate when do you start with being prem when do you start solids and that's obviously up to the the feed and we'll, we'll speak to him about that but yeah so when you yeah when you can't breastfeed your child you do feel quite guilty and and I just then, then I just need to let it go and just realize what I'm doing is the best I can do for my kids and so yeah and I just want to say to all the mums who um, have breastfeed or couldn't breastfeed um, getting help getting support not getting support um, you know whatever works for you works for you don't feel guilty don't feel that you failed um, knowing you're doing what you can for you and for your child is the best you can do and so doing what I'm doing for me is working for me and doing what works for you works for you so I said just to just do what you need to do and don't feel guilty I mean you feel like a failure because you haven't been able to do this thing that's the most natural thing in the world and obviously my journey is a bit different to everyone else's um, but I think that just comes and being a mum guilt just comes part and parcel of being a mother but just you know get support if you if you can and by support I don't mean for actual breastfeeding I like get support in the decisions that you want to make so make sure your partner's on board um, make sure that you know you get information as well okay